Hey everybody. So I was thinking that with our our story this week being on the library and having read Bath at the library, it'd be kind of fun to do a craft that has to do with reading and books. So I came up with two fun crafts we can do this week. The first one is a make your own book. And this one's really simple to make with just construction paper and some templates and some googly eyes. Um, but if you don't have an opportunity to come down to the Herb Memorial Library and pick up all the googly eyes and the template, you can make this at home too. You can go to the internet and you can print off free printable mini books. And they've got all kinds of little ideas. They've got colors and numbers and shapes and letters and feelings and emotions. All kinds of little mini books that you can print out the templates and do the same thing. You just won't have the googly eyes like we do in our story here today that I'm going to demonstrate for you. So this is the one craft we're going to do today. And then the second craft we're going to do is our little reading buddy. Isn't he cute? He's like adorable. And you can stick him up on things so you can sit next to him. You can read books together. He's a lot of fun. I like our little reading buddy. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make one of him as well. But we're going to start first with the do-it-yourself book. So like I said, these are really simple to make. You only need some construction paper and some coloring pages, or if you want to make your own, you just need some blank pages that are about um, uh, five inches by four inches wide. And you can draw your own story and tell your own story if you like. But if you're going to do the, the craft that we have available at the library, you need the construction paper pieces that come in the craft. It's just one large piece of construction paper that we've cut right down the middle in half. And then we've also provided you with a template for your cover. And then we've also given you the, the booklet pages here. That'll be in the kit. And we've given you the googly eyes. All the sizes that you'll need to make this craft. So the first thing that we have to do to make our book is to take our pieces of black paper and we wanna tape them end to end because we want about a 22 inch long sheet of paper here and before you do that actually you kind of want to fold them in half so you get a crease in here going and you want to fold this one in half like this and then you kind of want to tape them together like this so that you get an accordion fold to your book and we'll do the side too and just like our bats in the library we chose black construction paper you can use whatever color you have at home though if you don't have black. So this is what it looks like when you get it all taped together. If you're like me and you want to tape the back side of it for a little bit more sturdy of a book, I would recommend that. Especially if you plan to flip through it a lot and play with it. So you want to tape both sides. That makes it nice and sturdy. There, so now you have your accordion size book. And this is going to be the front cover of our book. And so you want to take your paper that we've included for your title and you want to cut that out. And when you cut it all out, it'll look like that. And then you just take your glue stick and you want to put some glue on the back side of it and glue it right on for your cover. Just nice and centered, nice and straight. My eyes can see is the name of this book that we're making, which is why you need all the googly eyes. Now the next step we need to do is to color all of these template pages and then cut them out. And so while we were at the library, we went ahead and we colored the first three pages. And I'll demonstrate quickly how we can color this last one. We can color the ladybug red, unless you want a different color ladybug. You can color your ladybug any color you want them to be. For example, maybe I'll give my ladybug a yellow head and a yellow body just to mix it up a little bit. And maybe I'll make my flower stem yellow or make my flower middle yellow and we'll give our butterfly some yellow spots. And we can make our butterfly purple because I like purple. And we'll make him nice and purpley. And we'll do the other wing. And for you preschoolers that are learning to color between the lines, this is a really good opportunity for eye-hand coordination and learning to color. Try not to scribble. And we'll give my butterfly a blue body, like so. 
And we can give our, our daisy flower here a green stem. And some green grass for our snail to crawl on. And you guys probably will color much better than Mrs. Post will, because I'm kind of just hurrying along here. And maybe we'll give ourselves an orange snail. Maybe we'll name him Fred. Fred the snail. Because he's just oozing his way along. And maybe we'll give him a blue body. There we go. And so now we've gotten our animals colored in. If you notice in our sample, I went ahead and colored the backgrounds on my pictures too. I didn't do that on these here. Um, those are optional for you to color in if you like. So now we've got all of our pictures colored, we can glue them into our book. So we're gonna move our colored pencils. And here's our book. And on our first page here, we're gonna color in the owl. So we'll take the first page and we'll put some glue on the back of it. And we're just going to glue this right on down, right on our paper like that. And then we'll color the birds, or we'll glue the birds on the next page. Oh, my glue stick is falling apart. There we go. And we'll glue our birds down on the next page. And then we'll turn the page. And we'll put our ocean creatures down our fish and our crab. And we'll glue that on. And last but not least is our butterfly and our ladybug and our snail. And now we can do the fun part because now we can glue on our eyeballs. So in each kit we provided an assortment of, of size eyeballs because you're gonna need an assortment size to glue these all on. We're gonna put by every sentence, some googly eyes. My eyes see in the dark. And so we provided the large size of the eyes for each of those sentences. Now we also have provided two extra large eyes and those are gonna be for the owl. So we're gonna open up our glue bottle. I recommend using the glue bottle for the eyes because it will give you a sturdier adhesive than the glue stick. Um, you might need to help your preschoolers with this part a little bit. Maybe if you put um, some glue on a plate, on a paper plate, and a Q-tip that they can dab the glue with, that might make it less messy. And then you can glue your eyes on. You can also, if you want to work with your preschooler, put a dot of glue here and a dot of glue here, and then your preschooler can use their fingers to pick up and place the eyeballs in place. That might also be easier. So this is the way it turns out. And you can do it again over here. You're gonna use those large ones again for on the major sentence here. Now on the birds, we're going to use a couple different sizes. I have a smaller size, a medium size eyeball in here. He's a little bit smaller than the large size. And we wanna put him on the bird that's flying with a profile. So he gets the medium size eye. And the bird that's flying with the back to you, we're going to put small um, eyes on. And there should be a couple of those in the box for you as well. And so we'll put some small eyes on our bird. Just like that. See how cool that is? Then we'll turn the page so we can do our sea creatures. And again, we're going to put some large eyes here and again here for our text. So that's one, we did a counting exercise, two and three and four. Okay, and then now we can put our very small eyes on what's left. We've got a extra small eye on our crab, and a small eye on our fish. So the small eye will go here, and our extra small eyes, which are very, 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 very tiny, these will be really good for those little fingers to pick up. You can go on the crab, 
and then we'll put one on the snail and two on the ladybug and two on the butterfly just like this so one on the snail and two on the butterfly and these are really tiny so try not to lose these and they're hard for adult fingers to pick up hope I keep dropping them maybe I should have gotten my tweezers and there we go we'll slide him on there and my last one which is really hard there we go now before you play with this book you really need to let it dry really well because those eyes will move around quite a bit so I recommend you just stretch the book out like so and put it someplace nice to dry now the other fun craft we have in mind to make for your kiddos is our our reading buddy and he's really simple to make again at the library we put together these craft kits for you and in the craft kit we give you a choice of either a blue reading buddy or a pink reading buddy or a green reading buddy and what these are what you'll find inside the kit is a long rectangle shape and three um, thinner rectangle shapes and there's going to be some white circles inside your kit and we've included a cover of a book for your reading buddy to read and a white rectangle and that's all you're going to need the first step you're going to want to do is to take your large rectangle and you want to fold down the top part of it about an inch and a half and then with your scissors you can start making some cuts and you want to make some thin cuts here up into the fold and cut back and forth to make triangles to come out and you might need to pull on that a little bit and then you want to make thinner triangles and maybe you want to make um, small ones because what we're trying to do here is create hair and so we need to um, make it kind of fringy and kind of short and kind of funky and wild so that at the end what you end up with is on our green friend here this fringe cut like so and you can fold pieces of it back and two out one side like a messy haircut like a child that's played outside in the wind quite a bit and that's his fringy haircut just like that and then you need to take two of the three strips that we have and we want to make accordion folds an accordion fold I mean you want to fold it up about an inch and then flip it over and fold it an inch and then flip it over and fold it an inch and flip it over and fold it an inch all the way to the bottom of the paper so that when you're done you end up with two strips of paper that look like this these accordion folds like that because then we're going to take our glue again and you want to do it on the upside down folded side of it here you want to put a little strip of glue there and you want to glue it underneath the rectangle like that because these are his legs and then we'll take the other one and do the exact same thing try to keep your folds as even as you can so that you've got the same number of folds coming out for each leg and you can stretch them a little bit to make them even so now there's that body part the next step we're going to do now is going to be the eyes so what you need here is going to be like a thin um, black marker or you can use a blue marker or a green marker whatever color marker you want to use because we're actually going to draw his eyes and you're just going to take your circle and we're going to trace around the the perimeter of the circle like so because what we're actually doing is giving our friend here a pair of glasses and then you want to do a half a circle at the bottom and then give him some eyelashes like so so that when it's all said and done you have two eyes that look just like that and then we can go ahead and glue our eyes onto our reading buddy and you need just a little bit of glue here and you want to put them here you kind of want to put them a little bit closer together because he's supposed to be wearing glasses and you don't want the bridge of those glasses to be terribly far apart so you kind of want to have his, his eyes somewhat close together and then take your thin marker and you can draw the bridge like that 
and then draw a line off to the edge and kind of curve it down slightly like it's going to go over his ears. And again this way and over like it's going over his ears. And if it's not straight, that's okay. You can always make it thicker if you want to straighten it out. Give him designer lenses if you want. Maybe he's got bifocals. Your reading buddy, each one is going to be unique and different and special. And then we're going to give him a nose, which is going to be just a little U shape here, and then a big smile here, which comes like this. And you can do a little um, angle down to show his cheeks and a little up you here on the edge to show that he's smiling. And then we're going to do the arms. You're going to take that third strip of paper that you had and you really want to center it under your reading buddy. If you need to use a ruler, you can. You want to make sure that they're about the same even size. And then you want to hang it onto it so it doesn't slide. You want to fold them over a little bit like so. Because these are going to be his arms. And then you want to fold over, you want to remove it from his back, and you want to fold over the tips of it because we're going to make those into his hands. And as you can see, then I took a marker and I drew fingers onto his hands. Then, once you've got that on there, take some glue and glue along the back side here and slide him back together with his arms where you want his arms to be. Now, once you've get him um, in place, get his arms in place, you also then want to gently fold the arms down on an angle, like so. Because he's going to have to read his book. He can't read his book if it's straight in front of his eyes. So we're going to set him off to the side here and we're going to make his book. We've included in our craft kit a copy of Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat, the cover of his book. If you want to be creative and have your child draw their own book cover, we really encourage you to do that also. Use your imagination to come up with a title and an illustration for your book cover. But if you don't, you can just cut our cover out. And as you can see, it should fit your white card perfectly. So you're going to want to fold that card in half. And you're going to want to flip this over. And using your glue stick, because glue stick works better on paper than the school glue does. It'll, it'll dry straighter and flatter with less bubbles. You can go ahead and glue your cover on your book. Make sure you get on the right side. Just like so. And there's your book cover of the book that your reading buddy is going to be reading. If your child is really creative, you can even draw pictures on the inside. Then the last step you need to do is turn over his hands and apply a little bit of glue here on his fingers. And then place the book in his hands so he can read. And this means you got to kind of position him in and kind of press down and hold on to it. And kind of just hold him there and maybe sing the alphabet song A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I sort of know my ABCs. <laughs> won't you next time, won't you sing with me? Yes, it's getting late. Mrs. Post can't remember her alphabet. So here we are. And now if you would like your reading buddy to be able to sit up or to stand, you can take another piece of tape and you can fold it over on itself or you can get double sided tape, whichever you may have at home. And just simply place a piece of tape back here on the back of his head. And then your reading buddy can sit anywhere and read his book. So I sure hope that you guys enjoyed making our storybook our googly eye book and our reading buddies today. I had a lot of fun making them and I look forward to seeing you guys again in our next video next week. Take care everybody. Bye.